Question number six, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Labour and asks what will be the gain in real income per hour adjusted for inflation since the 1st of April 2008 of a full-time worker on the minimum wage as a result of today's increase to the minimum wage? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Mr Speaker, the member has a short memory. I answered the question on the 11th of February as $3.78 for a week. If he divides that figure by 40, his calculator will tell him the answer is just under 10 cents an hour. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Why was the recommended option in her first Cabinet Committee paper for a nil increase? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, there were several options recommended to Cabinet. Cabinet decided that $12.50 was the fair, uh, fair minimum wage to set, bearing in mind the economic conditions and bearing in mind that protecting jobs was our priority. Michael Woodhouse. What reports has she seen on the minimum wage? The Honourable Kate Speaker, Wilkinson. I've seen several reports, Mr Speaker, including from Mr Mallard himself, who said he could not commit to a large increase in the minimum wage due to... <laughs> <laughs> Due to the economic conditions in October last year, conditions we know have since worsened. I've seen a report from Phil Goff demanding a raise to $13. I've seen the opposition's election manifesto that promotes an increase to $12.65. Yet their own colleague, Darian Fenton, has gone on to describe today's increase as miserable and measly. Can I ask, Mr Speaker, where does the opposition actually stand on the minimum wage? The Honourable Trevor Mallard. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Speaker. Order. 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 Honourable Members, please, I, I simply cannot hear when there's quite so much noise. I, so I don't mind boisterous question time. It's good, but this is a wee bit over the top. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Speaker. Supplementary question. Why was her recommended option in her first Cabinet paper for a nil increase? The Honourable Kate Speaker. Wilkinson. There were three options in the Cabinet paper. One was a nil increase, one was $12.50 and one was $12.65. We had to bear in mind the economic conditions and the priority to protect jobs and not encumber businesses with extra expenses which would result in job losses. Darian Fenton. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, to the Minister, does she accept that there are some New Zealanders still not being paid uh, the minimum wage? And if not, why not? The Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, Mr Speaker, as I understand it, there are between 94,000 and 12, 123,000 who will actually get an increase in wage as a result of the increase in minimum wage. Um, there are some New Zealanders who do not receive the minimum wage for various reasons. One is that they might be under 16. There are some breaches of the minimum wage regulations and, and legislations, and we, we take that very seriously. If any workers are being exploited by unscrupulous employers, we do not condone that sort of activity, as the member well knows. 